this is the right path here. You have your APIs. You, you put stuff in your APIs. The lambdas of the APIs are writing into the buffer. And then you take, take the stuff out and process it and put it back into a data warehouse. For instance, in one or two or three tables, depending on like the structure. I'm, I'm guessing you would do like three tables for each of these and you would, um, yeah, you would then do joins based on the data that you use, right? Mm -hmm. So that's something that is that is possible that you can do if you want to actually. I still cannot make connection where I'm going to do all the data cleaning and data science stuff. Which step yes. is that? Is that like data where after, right after data warehouse? Or is it in Docker? Um, that depends on what we actually want to do. So what we can do is we can from here we can do a either use the data warehouse oh, let me put everything a bit further down that's the difference between stream and batch pipelines so what we basically built here this is a, a complete streaming pipeline where we take the data we stream it in do something with it either just the storage or or a small small cleaning in here and then put it in the data warehouse and when you want to do when you want to run the analytics what you could do what you would actually do is you would run a run containers here that are taking the data from somewhere and putting it for instance in the data warehouse so it could come out of out of the data warehouse uh, you could also go in here and you could write the data into s3 And then uh, basically with the container, take it out of S3 and process it. Like it, you take it here and then the, the result, this is, uh, this is read. And here are the results of your container. This could be possible or that you, that you build like, uh, like, come on, let's do it like this. Um, I do read here. And then you say, okay, if my container reads data from here and puts the rest. Well, let me do this the other way around so it makes more sense. Right. So then, then you can the, you can schedule this with your. Um, let's delete this or let's put it. Let's leave it here. So then you can schedule this with your airflow and run this cyclic, like once an hour, you're, you're creating an export from your data warehouse. In this case, we, we could, we can use the data warehouse and we, you, yeah, you create results and put the results back into the warehouse. So that's the, that's the typical analytics use case that you have. You take the data from somewhere, make it like in a, in a batch and put it, put the results back in. Mm -hmm. And the, the storage is just for your, like for your convenience. What, what do you want to do? What do you want to use? You can do that within a, that you, that you use files, put stuff into files and then process the files or not. Or, or take them, put them in the data warehouse. It's just like, how do you want to write this container? Do you want to write this container that it that it reads of that it reads files within uh, within a a bucket, or that or that it runs uh, queries against the warehouse to to read the data? That's just um, whatever you want to do. Could be could be nicer to actually read from a, from a warehouse. Because otherwise you need to, you need to have file handling, like which files are already read, and that's sometimes that's annoying. But then this then this this part of above here this would be your analytics part where you run your where you run your machine learning. Mm 